once you've completed your part, this uh, project we're working on, and you want to go ahead and test it to see if the phone could sit in there, go up to the top when you have this open, go to File, and make assembly from part while you have the part open. You'll see the phone stand listed, whatever you named it. Just hit the green check mark and it will drop in. Now what you want to do is we want to go to Insert Components and we can browse. Or if you already have opened up the file off of the uh, Britannia1.com webpage, you could just go and you can find it's the iPhone. Just open it up. Oops. And I'm going to have to go ahead and find that part. So, excuse. Okay, I'm just going to go to browse over here. And there's my iPhone. Open it up. So, make sure you know where it's at. And then zoom out and just click to drop it floating out here somewhere. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to go ahead and get that in position. And there's something called the mates that are used inside SolidWorks. So, you click on this little paper clip icon up here. And what you could first do is you could select the bottom surface of the phone and then go ahead and select rotate around and I'm holding the middle mouse button down to rotate it or you could hit the arrow keys left right up or down until you could see this face right here where it needs to be aligned to so select that and you'll see it will align itself partially hit the green check mark now select the back face of the cell phone and then select this front face of your bracket and hit the green check mark. And here you could go ahead and hit the green check mark again. Now what you do is just slide it in just by dragging it. You grab it with the left mouse button and you drag it. And here you can see if it locks in. And sure enough, we could rotate it around. And we can see there's a little bit of clearance in there. And if you want to center it, you can kind of do it by eye, or you could use the mate tool with the dimension to locate it. But um, I would just slide it in there and get it as close as possible because it's going to be floating around in there anyway most likely. And basically that's how you could go ahead and test that part. Now the next thing we want to do is um, at this point I would go ahead and take a snapshot of that. If you want go to the little TV screen up here and go to perspective give you a, a better look at that. You can also photorealistically render it if you go to the Office Products tab up here. Find Photo View 360, turn it on, and it takes a second, and you should see the Render Tools tab will appear. Once you get that, click on Render Tools and hit Preview Window. It should come up and it'll give you a preview of what it looks like photorealistically rendered. There you can see the image. Now, if you want, you could go down here to Final Render, or you could just take this one and do a um, Alt, hold the Alt key down on the keyboard right next to the space bar, and hit the Print Screen, which is the button right above the Backspace button usually, or it's in the upper right area there. And you just click on it once, and now you can actually bring it into a Word document and paste it in there if you want. Another option is just go to Final Render and then you can go ahead and let it render. It will render in a different window. And then you can save the image and give it a name here. In this case I'm going to go ahead and call it my Phone Stand 1 and hit Save. It will save as a JPEG most likely. Otherwise you could select from a variety of different formats. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to show you how to, uh, actually the next uh, video will be how to actually take this and I'm going to run a drop test analysis on it. And this concludes this video.